iPhone 8 dummy leaks have even emerged on video, but we're not fully trusting them. We get the possible screen sizes and information for the future Google Pixels, and there are some crazy deals for some of the best LG devices out there. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, my gym trainer decided she hated me today, so now I can't feel my arms. Anyways, happy Monday. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals. If you're in the market for a new smartphone, LG's recent flagships are actually devices we highly recommend. And uh, well, eBay's got the G6 for just 420 bucks, the V20 for 370, and if you want to go for last year's G5, which I don't really recommend much, you can get that for 230 bucks, which makes it crazy compelling. You can learn more in the description. Now let's talk about iOS 11. If you have been meaning to give it a try, and there are a ton of reasons why you should, we have a full video on it. It is currently available for public beta, meaning you don't have to go through the crazy hurdles that some of us had to go through with a developer account and everything to be able to try it out. Obviously, you have to remember this is a beta, there will be bugs, and you have the option on reporting on them. But uh, so far, so good. I actually like iOS 11 a lot. You can learn more in the description as well. And yes, I have received at least three or four tweets asking about that rose pink Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. For those of you that want one, it is available as of today. The only problem is it's only available in Taiwan. Why Taiwan? I have no clue. I don't understand what the reasons for that is, but the cool thing is that the phone is available. It should reach other countries very soon. And for those of you wondering exactly what we should expect from the next Google Pixel devices, today we've got some trusted sources claiming that in the case of the regular size Google Pixel, we will stick to five inches on that display diagonal, which is again what we had last year. And uh, apparently that larger Google Pixel XL2 will go all the way to six inches, which makes all the rumors of LG handling this phone in the 16 or we should say 18.5 by nine aspect ratio being part of this whole design language. I cannot wait to see that Pixel XL2 particularly. We'll keep you posted as soon as we learn more. And finally, the very interesting news today have to do with the iPhone 8 and some leaked images that have emerged and even a video of a fully working dummy. And the reason I use the quote on quote is because I don't think it's real. First of all, if you notice that front, it's clearly just the cutout from the iPad Pro box and they fit it into the current display that was already leaked and you can actually buy on eBay. And then they just fitted it to the back, which you can actually also find on eBay. So clearly somebody is just trying to show off what it would look like for this iPhone if it were real. Sadly, that camera hump at the back looks terrible, but it wouldn't be the first case where we see leaks of the iPhone. They look terrible in the dummies and then the final unit looks great. So it leads me to the question of the day. Assuming that this would be that final iPhone X or iPhone 8, what do you think? Do you like it? Do you think that it holds water? Because in my case, obviously I don't like the dummy at all. I don't like that vertical camera, especially the hump, but hey, leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.